Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back on Angel Mountain map. Farm Sim 22. Let's get back to it. I think this episode we are due to purchase some cows. So let's go get on that. We'll do kind of the normal haul. We'll do uh, one load of the um, youngster kind of beef cows. One load of youngster dairy cows, and then one load of fully mature dairy cows. So here we go with that. Alright, that's 36 new head of cattle added to the herd here. Let's uh, go ahead and park this trailer. And then we'll take a look and see how the animals are doing. We should be okay on food and straw and all that. But I have not checked it in a little while. I know our silage bunker here is done. Just waiting on some straw before we start making a bunch of TMR. We have a ton of TMR already in storage, so we're in good shape. Uh, let's look at animals. Before we do, let's pay off a little bit of debt. We'll pay 20000 That's our kind of usual per episode repayment. One, two, three, four. And now let's look at animals. See how we're doing. Yeah, the beef cows here look like they have plenty of hay. And let's look at the most mature ones and see how close they are. Uh, the highest price tag we have now is 807 and they're just 27% of the way through puberty. So these guys have some time. This entire cow barn has been filled with um, baby cows. Just one load at a time, bringing them in. Uh, sheep, let's see how they're doing. Uh, the most expensive ones we have here are 225. These guys are a little further along, 62% of the way through puberty. So they'll start reproducing before, well, it's going to be a little while yet. And they are actually producing wool for us. We have a couple pallets sitting outside the sheep pen. That's all good. And then last but not least, we got the dairy cows. These are the ones we're purchasing kind of in a more accelerated fashion, at least in terms of their maturity. 
We have our highest priced ones here are these guys. They're only 10% of the way through towards reproduction, but their health is at 100%. They're 19 months old and they are producing milk. We've got 8,000 liters in storage and it looks like total mixed ration is in good shape. How's the food for the sheep? I didn't check. Yeah, that looks fine. So animals are looking good. We paid off our debt. Um, if we look at our field situation, obviously it's snowing right now. So our potato harvest is kind of stuck on hold right now. We've got a little bit of plowing that's been done to um, get ready for the next crop. That's this guy. And then this one is doing fertilizing. This tractor, he's stuck and stopped because uh, we're covered in snow. There's obviously our potato harvester stopped waiting for the snow to clear and our helper for the potato harvester is also stopped. What we can do though, uh, we can plow while it's snowing. I think <clears throat> we need to um, unstick this plow. This guy right here cannot make the up and down rows because there are trees in the way here. And I think there's trees over here too that might be in the way. We have... Let's see if I can bring up trailers. Boom. We have our flatbed trailer right here, our low loader. Let's go pick that up. And I want to see if we can cut down these trees. And I want to try and use our tree harvester here, the Scorpion King, and see if that'll work. Um, they are pine trees or fir trees. I just don't know if they're on our land boundary or not. Let's, um, let's go get that low loader and fetch our Ponce tree harvester and see if we can get to clearing those trees for a plow. Something that's easy to do or easy to do in the winter time. Let's go do it. Other than that, I think all our fields are just kind of growing. I don't, we can take a quick look here at the clover field and see where that's at in terms of ripeness. Yeah, it's coming up soon. And then so is this guy. Grapes, I think we're done. I think we have the two layers of fertilizer on there. See if that shows up as being fertilized. Um, the plowing seems to come up no matter what on the grape field. I'm not sure why. It's been subsoiled. Yeah, everything's fully fertilized. Um, mulched. Take that off. Yeah, everything's fertilized. So yeah, let's go get that tree harvester, see what we can do. First, I got to get the trailer. All right, let's get this guy loaded up. How's the maintenance? Oh man, maintenance and fuel look great. there. I imagine this guy does pretty good in the snow. Alright, off we go. We are there. A 
again, this may be just a great big fail, and we may need to use our chainsaw if these things are if these trees are not on our territory. Um, the lumberjack mod will allow us to cut the trees down regardless, but we're not going to be able to do it with the Ponce tree harvester if they're not considered to be on our land. All right, let's give it a shot. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, we're not allowed to cut this tree. So we're going to have to do it with the chainsaw. That's all right. These aren't too bad to trim the limbs off of. That's the kind of the biggest deal. Oh, I was hoping those were on our land. Uh, we do have a row of trees ahead. We may keep this tree harvester here and just take it to the end of the field. But we need these trees out of our way. So let's just get to it with the chainsaw. I'm going to do the stumps with the chainsaw too. The lumberjack mod's going to allow me to do that. Move this out of the way a little bit. I don't want to cut that up. There goes the stump. All right, here we go, cutting trees. All right, that is the line of trees that we were after. We'll get these. These should be harvestable with the Ponce. We may do those next. And then these ones, somehow I was able to plow here and I don't remember having a problem, right? Isn't this my, do I have a field here? This is my sugar beet field, right? 
Yeah, somehow I was able to plow this and those trees weren't in the way, but we may need to come back and take those out as well. Uh, let's go hop in the truck and get our timber trailer and see if we can auto load these things up. Sometimes the custom cut logs here don't work so well with the uh, auto load, but we'll find out. I'm going to tab over to the truck. Uh, actually, that was close enough. Let's hop out here. We can leave the low loader in this area. In fact, let's um, let's take the tree harvester. Let's take the tree harvester up a bit. Well, we got the trailer here and everything, and the truck. I actually want to take this guy to the far side because I think we have trees on that side of the field too that might be a problem. Uh, we may run into the same situation where they're not technically on our property line. Oh, look at that guy getting caught up on the ramp a little bit. But we can try it. Uh, try it over on the other side too. And then if that's still a problem, we may still use the Ponce for those trees straight ahead. All right, let's get this guy turned in a little bit. Boom. Boom. Uh, strap in. Maybe some headlights. Let's head over to the other side. I guess we could actually try it too. There's no hurry really to get the plow going. Since we've got the inclement weather anyway. Yeah, let's go try the other side. Looks like these trees aren't going to be a problem. Let's take these out. Alright, now it looks like we're hitting our property line. Let's take a bunch of these out by hand, just like we did on the other side. Um, these aren't terribly urgent, these trees, but um, let's just do it to finish the job. Got quite a few. Here we go. Alright, that is the last tree we need to cut by hand. Let's get these last two little slices in. Like I said, we may come back and do this row straight ahead. That's between the sugar beet field and the potato field. But it's not urgent. Uh, I do want to cut down the stumps over here from the trees that we were able to harvest with the uh, Ponce tree harvester. Um, if you noticed, I moved the trees over from the stump before I took out the stump. Um, it's the lumberjack mod that actually allows me to take the stumps out with the chainsaw. But if you're too close to a big old tree, it may actually detect that and get rid of it. And we lost one tree. 
um, due to that effect. That's kind of why you may have seen me moving the trees over a little bit before I started uh, taking up the stumps. But let's head over here. Somewhere straight away, we should start seeing some stumps that were not able to be harvested. They're going to be a little tricky to see. We can't see them. It's not urgent. We can get to it later, but it'd be nice to take these out. So we're not driving over the top of them with the trailer truck. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing one here somewhere. Did I miss one? Okay, I see one here. Hmm. one here it should be obvious but I don't see it <laughs> I don't see it <laughs> where might you be nope that's just log you guys probably see it probably walked by it three times uh, like I said it's not urgent we can get it when we see it later there's probably one right over here Yeah, let's leave it. Um, what I want to do now, we'll leave the low loader truck here because we're probably going to move the tree harvester later. We want to go get the timber runner so we can actually start picking up some of these logs. Let's head over. I imagine it's over by the forestry area. So let's go fetch that. All right, we're ready to pick up some timber. Let's see how we do. Like I said, sometimes when we do cut them by hand, I get mixed results with auto loading, but let's try it. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see how these line up and if I can even find them all. Uh, it's a little hard in this tall grass. All right, that's the first load. I'm gonna take these over to the sawmill. I think we have plenty of room. And these trees that were kind of pre-placed on the map, they don't yield the most wood. These weren't the most mature trees. So we got a whole bunch of trees on this one load. But yeah, I'm gonna take this over to the sawmill, come back, load up some more, and do the same till we have all of these trees picked up. And then maybe we'll get to turning the plow back on here. Whoa, yeah, slippery roads. I gotta drive a little careful. Here we go.
right, got that last little stump. I think we took out all the stumps at this point. There may be one or two that managed to escape. Uh, we loaded up the timber, <laughs> overloaded the timber runner. Doesn't look terribly safe, but this is our last load. And we got all of the trees that we cut down. We'll get this over to the sawmill. That'll give us some wood or some timber for plank production. And we'll get some wood chips out of this as well. Um, I think next episode, we may cut that row of trees that are sitting in between the potato field and the sugar beet field. Because we still have a lot of room left for lumber, or for timber, I should say, at the sawmill. So we may as well do that while it's snowing. We can't really harvest. We could try to get the plow going next episode as well. But I think this will be the last little chore for this episode. We'll get this loaded into the sawmill, hopefully without tipping over on the way. And then we'll pick it up next episode. But yeah, definitely let me know your comments. What you think we should be doing in this series that we're potentially not doing. I do want to get into the silt business. There's a plot of land right across from our sugar beet field that has a big deposit of silt. I'd like to purchase that pretty soon. We've got 230000 in the bank. Um, next episode, we'll be buying sheep. Those are pretty cheap. We'll take a look. There may even be some stuff that we can sell. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind starting to shovel up some of that silt so we can produce fertilizer and liquid fertilizer at our fertilizer factory. But again, I think next episode, we're going to do a little more forestry work. Let's get these guys dropped off and then maybe we'll take a quick look at our production lines and just see where things stand in terms of being able to make some money. Uh, we're still only midday here or I guess early late morning almost hitting afternoon here on February 2nd. We've got snow now but it looks like it's forecasted to the snow is going to at least stop. Maybe things will melt off and we can start harvesting or resume harvesting our potatoes. I'd like to get that field turned over. Yeah, let's drop these off. We'll take a look, see how much room we have left. Looks like at the bottom right, we have 98,000 wood, liters of wood in there. Boom. Whoops. Maybe I need to get closer here. Boom. Now we're up to 120. Yeah, we've got room for about 130,000 more liters of timber. So we'll probably take the opportunity to fill this guy up. I noticed there's a bunch of planks here ready to be brought over to the carpentry mill with our forklift. Maybe next episode. It's not urgent. There's room for a bunch more to be put here. But yeah, let's look at our production lines and just see where things stand. Okay, we saw the sawmill. Yeah, we've got room for stuff there. Plenty of wood chips. We could probably empty those pretty soon. Apiaries, they're getting up there on the wax. Um, yeah, maybe the crayon business soon, real soon. Uh, for crayons, we need dye and we need wax. And I think that maybe coal or something for fuel. We'll probably do that over by the oil refinery. That's where our dye is. And then just truck the wax over there. So that's getting real close. That's another business we might want to get into once we have some cash. Bakery barn, nothing going on here. Carpentry mill, this guy needs planks brought over. So maybe we will get to that next episode. Compost, nothing going on there until we get some straw. Uh, banana chips. I think we're going to sell the banana chips and store the dried cherries. Those are getting close. We might be able to raise some money from these pretty soon. Uh, fertilizer station. I don't think we're really planning on selling anything here, but look at the herbicide, 323,000. I think once that gets up to 400,000, maybe we'll empty this out and we'll do 100,000 liters in each of the newer greenhouses that we purchased. And I'm thinking once we make a trip of 100,000 liters of herbicide to all of our greenhouses and the two orchards, then the rest is probably gonna be just going straight into our 10 million liter objective. Saltwater is producing a whole lot more slowly. Um, there is a business that's going to require this. I talked about this before. I think it's a fishery or something. So we'll just let this accumulate inside the um, 
fertilizer station. We've got room for 2 million liters. Uh, and then we'll drain this out um, once we get the fish, get into the fishery business. I think that's going to be a while from now. Greenhouse, nothing to do there. We don't have any grain yet to process. How are the greenhouses? We've got two sets. So one set looks like it's kind of at the 70, 80, and 100,000 liter range. And the other one is in the 60s. It's going to be a while before we can sell. This guy's at 130 or has some products at 130. Same thing throughout here, 130s and 70s. So it'll be a little while before we can sell that. Ice cubes, we've got a load of ice cubes. Um, I guess not yet, right? We can take 200,000 per load. So soon that'll be full. We can take a load of ice cubes over to the slushy plant. We'll see where that's at in a minute. How about Mammoth Mill? Ore, of course, is going down. We go through a lot of iron ore and sand. So we've got some mining duties ahead of us fairly soon. The coal is okay. This go, we go through coal pretty slow. Um, but we probably want to make sure the sand keeps going for sure. That's a money maker for us with the glass jars. In fact, we have someone that we could sell and make some money off of. And then the iron is mostly important for a 10 million liter objective, right? We've got nails that we're soaring up, steel that we're storing up. And I thought there was one more thing that used the iron. Is it just nails and steel? Oh, drill pipe. Yeah, we have drill pipe we could deliver. We might even store some of that too. That's what's going on there. Nut house. These nut shells need to be stored, not sold. And then the mixed nuts will sell as soon as that gets up to 200,000. So we got a little delivery task there. Oil rig is doing great on coal and doing great on drill pipe. Half a million liters of crude to send to the refinery. I'm sure the refinery is probably sitting empty. We'll see that in a second. Walkers and wheelchairs. Yeah, we'll sell the walkers. We'll store the wheelchairs for now so we can raise a little money there. That'll help us buy businesses and maybe that silt field I was talking about. Orchards, got a little ways to go yet. Tempted to put down two more orchards. I think those are about 80,000 each. That's another, another option. It might be nice to double these up like we did with the greenhouses. So that's in the back of my mind as well. Never a shortage of things to spend money on. That is for sure. Refinery, yeah, empty of crude, and then we've got hydrogen and oxygen to haul. S sell that, or we'll, um, we can store that for 10 million liter objectives, and then we're also producing water from these two ingredients over at the stone mine. So that is a hauling job. Plastic, we'll probably sell that, most of this, at the, uh, at the oil press of all places. You can get good money for that, so that's a money maker. Um, we're also using that at the mammoth mill. How are we doing on plastic here? Oh yeah. We need to bring some plastic over to the mammoth mill. That's where we're getting our little plastic sacks created. Got a couple loads of those too. We could go take to the ice house if it needs it or just store those up. But yeah, we've got quite a bit of hauling to do. We can do that while it's snowy too. Slushies. Here's our new business slushies. Slow. Looks like it's slow to produce, right? We're probably not going to be selling much slushy. These accumulate fairly slowly, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at when these get up to 200,000 liters. Maybe we'll sell the first two and store these for 10 million liters. And then once we get 10 million liters saved up at the pineapple and rose hips swap, start storing the blueberry and melon and selling the pineapple and rose hip. It's going to be a long let's play. We got lots of stuff to do. So we'll see when we get there. Those are slow, nothing urgent. Stone processing, we need to shovel up some stone. Not urgent. The stone processing plant processes super fast. Um, and we don't need any of these materials. This calcium carbonate, I'm saving um, over this way. We use this for the slushies, but we're going to get into the soda business real soon. And so we'll empty this directly into the soda business. And we'll probably do that over by the stone processing plant just set up a soda company there so yeah sugar mill this one we are going to sell we emptied all the stock we're going to sell this business and keep it as a as a sale point we can take i don't know something here and sell to it and then we're going to place our own sugar house that allows us to produce marshmallow 
that's another thing we got to get to. Uh, pig food, nothing going on over here. TMR, we're making our own. But we will make pig food at the animal food factory that's over by our main farm. We got two wash plants doing stone for us, wash stone. We'll sell from one of these and use it to make money. And then the other one we'll probably just use for our 10 million liter objectives. Same thing with the gold and silver. Um, we're going to use this gold and silver to recruit people before too long. We need hemp, our hemp field to mature and all that before we can get people. So that's a bit later on. And then we've got one waterworks that we're not really using anymore. That's this top one. This is the one by our main farm. We use this to produce 10 million liters of water from hydrogen and oxygen. So we've already met that 10 million liter objective for the handcrafted artesian water. Um, and then this guy we are using, this is our water supply for the stone processing. So the wash plants and the stone processing factory use water. We're making it from the hydrogen and oxygen just because we have a surplus of that. Um, so that's allowing us to allowing us to burn through it. And then we looked at our fields earlier. We don't have anything real urgent other than clearing this potato field and turning it over with more a new planting of potatoes. Just waiting on the snow to clear. It's kind of our priority task right now, getting that field turned over. And then very soon we're going to have wheat. I'm super anxious to get so we can start, um, start raising chickens and feeding them with this grain. Um, that's going to get us eggs, which we can feed into the bakery. That's going to get us feathers or just chicken that we can feed into one of these businesses. It's this one, if I can get it, the hen house. We can distribute or deliver chickens to this hen house. Uh, that's going to get us feathers and like chicken cutlets. The feathers we can use right away at Old Man's Mill next door to make feather dusters. And then the chicken cutlets are used in a bunch of other businesses, sandwiches and hoagies and pizza or something. Um, but yeah, once we this wheat field gets ready to harvest and we can get that grain, we can get into the chicken business. We're also going to get a big batch of straw and we can use that for TMR and we can use it to make a bunch of compost. So lots and lots to do, lots and lots already done. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoy the series on the Angel Mountain 16 times map. Man, I'm having fun. I hope you're enjoying it. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.